crew, Natalie here. Um, I've just come from teaching and I am famished, so I'm quite hungry. I'm gonna have um, a salad and I'm gonna use my lovely Thermomixer here um, to make me a nice salad. Um, you might hear a little bit of noise in the background, that's my uh, dehydrator going. So I've got a few things going on at the moment, but it's all about nourishing the body. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is what I've got at the moment I've cut up. This is what I've got left in the fridge. It's the end of the week, so not much is left. But I've got some broccoli, some celery, there's some carrots I've cut up, we've got some red onion, some cabbage, and some coriander leaves. So I'm going to be popping that into the lovely thermal mix here and we're going to be zipping away. Other things I'm going to be adding also is at the end when I'm done with everything I'm going to top it off with some um, Be Delicious um, Ruby Red uh, Perfect Organic um, Raw um, Cabbage. I've got my activated pumpkin seeds and my activated sunflower seeds and then for with the dressing I'm going to do um, I found this organic whole egg um, mayo, it doesn't have too many, uh, it doesn't have much of the uh, heavy nasties as you would see in regular mayo. Um, eventually I will make my own, but I thought, ah, that's a good alternate. And then some apple cider vinegar, and then I've made some ginger paste and some uh, garlic paste. So, and I'm going to add that, and I made that all through the lovely Thermomixer. So, here we go. Well, the thermal mixer is quite easy pleasy. I love about it is we just got to cut up some uh, vegetables at certain sizes and then you just pretty much put everything in nice and easy um, and it chops it all up for you which is great it saves a bit of time in that way so that's all I'm doing here just putting it in And then from there, as it chops it up, it will mix it up at the same time. I'm going to add a few things here. So I am going to add the mayo. Take that through. And we'll just add a little bit extra for good luck. Oops. <laughs> the joys of cooking mess. Love it. Um, and then we're going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I'm just going to do a free pour because that's the way I roll. <laughs> so it's quite funny. A lot of people will be like, oh, how much did you put of that? I'm like, I don't know. I just free poured it. <laughs> uh, not always the way to go. Um, if you don't normally do that, I'd advise not to. And then we're going to add a bit of the garlic paste. And I just want something to help with inflammation, which um, a ginger paste does that. Ginger does that. So we'll add a bit of that. Easy as. And then off we go. So it's always good to go for a short period of time. So we're going to go for four seconds. And I'm going to do it for about four and a half of speed. Telling me it's all done, which is great. And then we're going to use the scraper. The spatula, just to give it a bit of a stir. do for another little bit longer. I am going to actually, before I forget, add a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. Not much because I do watch my salt intake due to my kidney issues and kidney disease. So um, I am mindful of that. So I do be careful with that. And then I'll do it again for another four seconds and we'll do it for, uh, this time we'll do five. Now we'll do four. Perfect. Take the lid off. Do another little bit of scraping. Oh, nice little bits. Beautiful. And 
and this is what we have. And now we're ready to plate it up nice and easy. So I'm going to pour a little bit, put a little bit on the plate. Mmm, looks good. Lots of good nourishment there. Variety is always good. And then from here, add a bit of sprinkle on some pumpkin seeds. And then we'll put on some sunflower seeds. Seeds have so many good nourishments. They actually help with the gut also quite a bit. So if you've got allergies to nuts, seeds are a good way to come through and you also get your um, good fats. And then we're going to top it off with a bit of sauerkraut. As um, we want to make sure we use a good, there's lots of sauerkraut out there, but um, I like the bean nourished because they actually add, um, they actually add live culture to it. So, and it's unpasteurized, so you know you're getting the good stuff for your gut, which we always need to take care of the gut. This is quite high in sodium, um, so I am mindful of that. So, um, but you know, you gotta find what your balance and what works for your body, that's always best. So there you go, there's lunch. Um, I'm looking forward to eating that. So I'm gonna be quick here so I can go eat because I'm quite famished. Um, just grab what's in the fridge, doesn't have to be exactly what I've got there, and just be creative. Go with your taste buds because it's also, that's another big thing. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Peace out.